Now, one of the restaurants of famous chef Roland Lodico turns a year old. Pat Fernandez takes us again to Guevara's. As Guevara celebrates its first year anniversary, it continues to mix old world flair with contemporary comfort. A year ago, celebrated chefs Roland and Jackie Laudico transformed the secluded ancestral property in San Juan to a buffet restaurant. Since then, Chef Laudico Guevara has turned back the hands of time and transported customers to 1920s Manila. What better way to celebrate the restaurant's first anniversary than to gather its owners and distinguished friends in an afternoon filled with food, laughter and memories. Chef Laudico expressed his gratitude to the staff and co-owners who contributed to the success of Guevara's, which has been frequented by famous personalities, including beauty queens, actors, singers, athletes, businessmen, and even politicians. While Guevara's takes so much pride in its wide range of meat offerings, like Angus beef and lechon, the restaurant also serves equally tasteful seafood dishes, especially for those who want to skip meat this Lenten season. We have like those crispy shrimps, yung nilasing na hipot, crablets. Uh, so grill, we offer like nice grilled fish. Uh, yeah, in the main courses, uh, we also offer a lot of uh, seafood dishes as well. And for those looking for summer coolers, Guevara's is also the perfect place to indulge in cold, refreshing, and sweet desserts. The restaurant boasts of its famous Halo Halo shooters and Brasso de Mercedes, as well as its latest creation, a moist chocolate cake which resembles a statesman hat used by the elite during the olden times. Guevara's not only gives its customers a full satisfied stomach after every meal, but it also fosters a greater appreciation for Filipino art as it features the works of local artists. This month, Guevara's is also featuring the artworks of Cristina Manansala, granddaughter of the late national legend Vicente Manansala. Every month or, or so, we feature a new artist because we want to help talaga the local artists. Indeed, Guevara's is a place to be for special occasions with the family and for times when you simply feel like treating yourself to a delicious and sumptuous meal. And after one year of service, its owners wish for many more years to make more customers and friends happy. This is Pat Fernandez for Solar News. And let's have Pat Fernandez say once again to give us the latest in entertainment. Hi Pat. Claire. Good news for fans of rapper Rick Ross as his latest set Mastermind debuts at the top of a Billboard 200 album chart. Nielsen Soundscan says the album sold over 179,000 copies on its first week of release, giving Ross his fifth number one on the Billboard Hot 200. All of the rapper's albums have reached the top two spots on the chart, with only 2010's Teflon Don placing second to Eminem's platinum-selling album Recovery. Farrell Williams' second sold solo album GIRL came in at number two with over 112,000 copies sold, while the soundtrack to the Disney hit Frozen came in third with over 100,000 albums sold for the week. It looks like actress Rooney Mara will be heading to the magical universe of Peter Pan's Neverland. Reports say the actress who played the girl with a dragon tattoo is in talks to play the tribal princess Tiger Lily in the live-action epic Pan. Directed by Joe Wright, the film follows the story of a young orphan boy from London who is kidnapped by pirates and taken to Neverland where he faces off against the main villain Blackbeard. Hugh Jackman is playing Blackbeard and Garrett Hedlund will take on the role of Hook. Pan will hit theaters this July 2015. And fans will be seeing more of CBS Network's comedy hit series The Big Bang Theory as the show has been renewed for three more seasons. The network's deal with Warner Brothers TV will take the top rating show through season 10 and will extend the series until 2017. Big Bang's seventh season has logged its highest ratings to date, averaging over 19.5 million viewers per week. And with three more seasons coming up, the show's lead stars Jim Parsons, Johnny Galecki, and Callie Kaylee Kukuoko are ready negotiating new contracts. Wow, those are the latest in entertainment. Back to you, Claire. Thanks, Pat. 
The 80s saw a lot of girl power with the rise of all female acts. Let's look back at some of them. The Bangles is perhaps most known for the song Eternal Flame, one of the most memorable ballads of the 80s. See if you could hear people are singing along to the song Eternal Flame topped many charts and was subsequently covered by numerous artists. The song, like its title implies, was said to be inspired by two eternal flames, one which the band saw at the gravesite of Elvis Presley in his Graceland mansion and another in a local synagogue visited by the song's co-writer Billy Steinberg. The ballad is a staple in video sessions and I know a girl who sings it in video sessions. <laughs> She's That's sitting me. right in the, next to me. Yeah, and I ask her to sing with me now. No. <laughs> it's a beautiful song. I'll do it another day. Yeah. Not today. Who wants to hear Claire sing? Oh, I could hear everybody say yes. No. <laughs> let's go, okay, so karaoke. let's listen first to Bangles. Okay. Mm. Of course, ah. you all know this song. Here comes the Go-Go's, another girl band that defined what the decade was all about. Loud colors, quirky beats, and groovy dance steps. Among oh, the band's most that. popular hits is Head Over Heels, which was released 30 years ago. The music video showed lead singer Belinda Carlisle jiving along to the energetic song, which made it at number 11 of the Billboard Top 100 in 1984. What? 1984? The Go-Go's classic also found its way to films such as its 2001 namesake starring Freddie Prince Jr. and 2004's 13 going on 30. Yep, I remember it. It was the first song in that movie that came out. Yeah, Belinda Carlisle. Look at the dance step, Claire. Yeah. <laughs> I, I can still do that songs. dance step. Oh, so easy. Go like that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that Were was you an the 80s, 80s child? Oh, definitely. I ah, still I still remember all the songs. Just gave away your age. No, I was a child. I was born oh, in the 80s. Oh, okay, okay. A child. Yeah. <laughs> I was but, a baby. Uh, the, the, I remember my mom the, was listening to it. That's why I know the songs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. But yeah, I remember Rome. Remember Rome? Oh, Rome? No, that yeah. was 1990s already. Oh, okay. Rome, well, if you want I'm to. I'm a 90s child. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, whatever. <laughs> anyway, that'll do it for us this Thursday morning. Thanks for watching Solar Daybreak. Keep us company tomorrow when we give you a fresh look at the headlines and stories you'd love to wake up to. Enjoy your day.